In this series, we will analyse teams, identify problem areas and suggest solutions in the form of incoming players. We don't follow gossip, rumours or conjecture. We're concerned only with the players' on-field performance and their suitability for the role in question. Today's team is Nottingham Forest. Welcome to Sensible Transfers. Nottingham Forest have already made some important inroads in the transfer market this summer. Firstly, they have addressed the goalkeeper position, bringing in Dean Henderson on loan and signing Ryan Hammond on a free as a backup. They've also signed a couple of players who will slot into their back three in Musa Niakate and Julian Biancon. Niakate is left-footed and used to playing on the left-hand side of a back three. A more proactive defender, Niakate's inclusion in the starting eleven will likely see Scott McKenna shift to the middle of the three. At 1m90 tall, Niakate offers a set-piece threat and it's also worth noting that he took penalties for Mainz, the club that he signed from. Julien Biancon is expected to play on the right-hand side of the back three, but he is a flexible player who's played right centre-back, right-back and wing-back on both sides for his most recent club, Troy. Biancon gives Steve Cooper a more defensive option on the right. Neko Williams has also been signed to replace the departed Jed Spence, who returned to Middlesbrough after the end of his loan and has subsequently been sold. Forest have moved quickly to bolster their defence. Another issue that needs to be tackled by Forrest in the summer window is the departure of loanee James Garner back to Manchester United. Garner is a deep-lying midfielder with the ability to make progressive passes. Last season, he played alongside Ryan Yates, who was more of a physical ball winner. Crucially, Garner produced seven assists from set-piece scenarios. Now, Forrest will need to replace him with a similar profile, but bringing in someone who'd be able to step into the starting eleven immediately. So our pick is Brentford's Josh De Silva. The 23-year-old has been a really good player for Brentford for a number of years, but he was out with a hip injury for almost the whole of last season. As a result, Brentford built their Premier League squad without him, meaning that now, a loan with the option to buy could be a good way for him to return from injury. A more physical and athletic player than James Garner, De Silva is the taller of the two at 184cm. However, despite this height difference, the two players share a similar skill set. De Silva is a good ball carrier and passer, and although he doesn't offer as much defensively as Garner, he will give Forrest more progression through carrying and will arrive in the final third much more than Garner too. If he can find full fitness, this could be a really good opportunity for both him and Forrest. Now, the final position that Forrest have strengthened so far this summer is up front. Taiwo Awaniyi is being brought in from Union Berlin for a club record fee in the region of £17.5 million. Awani is a striker who plays the role as more of a target player. The question is, who will play alongside him in the forward line? Well, last season, Forrest played with a front two, but the step up to the Premier League could see them shift to a three. With that in mind, it might be useful to find a mobile support player who could play alongside Awanee in a strike partnership or as one of the three alongside Awanee and Brennan Johnson. The Forest would be looking for someone comfortable playing on the left or out of the left half space because when Johnson plays in a front three, he usually features on the right. Beyond that, they'll be looking to improve the talent level of their squad to suit the Premier League. So, with Burnley being relegated last season, Maxwell Cornet becomes an attractive prospect for a lot of teams. A quick, powerful transition attacker, Cornet has excelled so far in his short time at the Lancashire club. For Burnley, he played as a left midfielder or in a strike partnership. But the season before, he featured as a left-back in a four for Lyon. Again, this flexibility would be attractive to Forrest. Cornet is also dangerous from free kicks and could help replace another aspect of James Garner's contribution. But our pick is Rangers' Ryan Kent. Kent is a powerful but technical player. He loves to take on defenders, using his speed and technical proficiency to ease past opponents. Because of this, he really thrives in transitional moments of the sort which Forrest will be looking to produce in the Premier League next season. This transitional prowess might explain why Kent proved to be so influential in Rangers' Europa League campaign last season, being an important factor in eliminating teams like Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig. Interestingly, Kent came through Liverpool's youth system at the time when Steve Cooper was head of the academy, so the Forest manager will already know how best to use him in his current setup. This connection might also persuade the player to make the move to a side who would be looking to avoid relegation. 
and Kemp would be very gettable for Forrest, given that his contract only runs until 2023. If you'd like to see sensible transfers for your team, then you are in luck, because we've written sensible transfers articles for every team in the Premier League, and published them on The Athletic. To read them, you can get a 30-day free trial for The Athletic by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching today's video.